Hello dear friends, <coughs> Assalamu alaikum and welcome back. Welcome back to Top Listen for you. Dear friends, as we are discussing about the abdominal regions and the organs which are present in abdominal regions, right? So in the previous lecture I have discussed about the organs of the right hypochondric region as you can see here we have. If you want to have uh, knowledge about this, uh, uh, the, this region, the organs of this region, so go and watch the lecture regarding the organs of the right hypochondric region. Uh, inshallah you will learn a lot in that lecture also uh, before that lecture i have recorded about how to divide the abdomen into different regions so you can go and also watch that lecture too right now in this lecture we are recording about the uh, the organs of the left hypochondric region right so let's go for the organs of the left hypochondric region so friends this is my left hypochondric region right about hypochondric I have told you that hypochondric means below the ribs below the condor below the cartilages of the last ribs right so hypochondric means that so in order to make our diagram simplified we I haven't drawn the same sketch there also right so you just consider that this sketch is also present on that side also right so this is our left hypochondric region so as i have divided the organs in this right hypochondric region into digestive and endocrine excretory lymphatic and reproductive organs so same will be the case there right so i will divide the organs of the right hypochondric and left hypochondric region into the same different parts that is the first class of organs which are present in the right hypochondric region will be the digestive organs so which digestive organs are found in the right left hypochondric region let's know about them digestive organs right so the first and important thing that is found in the left hypochondric region uh, in order to, which is responsible for digestion of food you can see here some parts of the stomach is coming towards the left hypochondric region many and much part of the left uh, of the stomach is present in the epigastric region but some parts of it if you follow my marker you can see that some parts of the stomach is also present in the left hypochondric region so we say stomach is responsible for digestion of food so we say that stomach is found in the uh, left hypochondric region right friends next next important thing in the left hypochondric region is that the tail of the pancreas you can see here tail of pancreas tail of pancreas why we are writing pancreas as a digestive organ because you know that pancreas releases certain enzymes into the duodenum which are responsible for digestion of food as we know that pancreas also plays its role in the endocrine system not only that but pancreas also releases digestive juices digestive enzymes right that's why pancreas is also responsible for digestion of food look the tail of the pancreas this is the head of the pancreas this is the neck this is the body and this is the tail of the pancreas so you can see the tail of the pancreas is found in the the in the left hypochondric region in the digestive organs of it the third important thing regarding the digestive organ is that you can see if you follow that small intestine also goes a little or we say that the first part of the small intestine uh, as duodenum goes back a little bit backward it leads it goes to the a little bit a little bit it goes to the right, left hypochondric region also so we say that some part of the small intestine not all small intestine friends please don't make it confused some parts of the small intestine leads or goes towards the left hypochondric region then you can see that that some parts of the transverse colon is also going towards the uh, left hypochondric region so we say transverse colon transverse colon i hope you are understanding me right then there is uh, uh, colonic flexure or left colic flexure is found in the left hypochondric region so left colic flexure is found in the left hypochondric region right friends so this is 
about the digestive organs which are present in the left hypochondriac region and one thing uh, next you can say also that some parts a li very little part of the descending colon is also found you can see here a very little part of the descending colon is also found in the left hypochondriac region so descending colon descending colon so some parts of the, uh, the the first part or the beginning of the descending colon is present in the left hypochondric region right friends then the next group of organs which we can have help of this uh, uh, lecture are present uh, here also the endocrine organs right the next group of organs are, which are found in the left hypochondric region may be the endocrine organs so what endocrine organs are found there in the uh, left hypochondric region so dear friends those endocrine organs which are found in the left hypochondric region you can see that some parts of the kidneys found in the left hypochondric region so kidney also plays in the previous lecture i have told you that kidney also plays at some of its role in the endocrine function as it releases certain hormones uh, renin hormone erythropoietin hormone right so we say that a kidney plays its role in the endocrine function that's why we say that endocrine organs are also found in the left hypochondric region so that is our friend kidney right and the next important thing that is endocrine and it has some parts found in the left hypochondric region that is your pancreas right so pancreas releases certain hormones right like insulin like glucagon like somatostatin like other hormones so pancreas also rules, plays its role in endocrine activity we say that some endocrine organs are also found in the left hypochondric region right friends then are there any excretory organs which are present in the in uh, left hypochondric region yes excretory organs i hope you have the concept from the previous lecture that i have given you so which excretory organs are found in the left hypochondric region yeah tell me friends kidney kidney is found in the left hypochondric region and kidney plays its very important role in the uh, excretion of different substances from our body right and the th fourth group of organs which are found there are called the lymphatics right lymphatics yes we know that lymphatics the spleen is found in the left hypochondric region so if someone says that which lymphatic organ is present in the left hypochondric region so you see my friends there the here is our spleen so spleen is a lymphatic organ not a node right so spleen is found in the lymph in the left hypochondric region and then are there any reproductive organs no are there any reproductive organs in the uh, left hypochondric region no my friends no reproductive organ is present in the left hypochondric region so we just to say none of the reproductive organs are found in the uh, left hypochondric region so this was about the left hypochondric region i hope you like the lecture and i hope you have a knowledge about the organs of the left hypochondric region in the previous lecture we discussed about the right hypochondric region so see you in the next lecture regarding the epigastric region thank you so much